I went into crew with great expectations. The idea of three dazzling actors, Kriti Sanan, Kareena Kapoor Khan and Tabu, starring in a heist comedy is inherently irresistible. Women so rarely get to do the heavy lifting in either heist movies or in comedies. In fact, crew might be the first female heist film in Hindi cinema. I don't remember any others. If you do, please tell me in the comments below. Also, Crew is directed by Rajesh Krishnan, whose first film Loot Case was one of my favorite films of 2020. You remember Bala, the suave don played by Vijay Raz. The guy is an avid fan of National Geographic and uses the channel to explain the rules of the jungle to his gang. That gangster zoologist was an instant classic. Plus, Crew has been co-produced by Ekta Kapoor and Rhea Kapoor. Two women who, with Vire the Wedding, determinedly reinvented that dated term, woman-centric film. In their hands, female characters became messier, raunchier and just more fun. Or at least that was the attempt. In addition to this, the male leads in crew are two artists whose presence is enough to put a smile on your face. Diljeet Dosanjh and Kapil Sharma. The supporting cast includes the always interesting Sashwata Chatterjee and Rajesh Sharma. And after eons, we get to see Kulbhushan Kharbanda. In short, the talent assembled is formidable. Crew should have been a desi version of Bridesmaids meets Ocean's 8. And yet, the film about three air hostesses who resort to gold smuggling never achieves liftoff. What's specially frustrating is that through the two hour plus runtime, we see flashes of what this material could have been. For starters, the women are sparkling. They're fabulously styled and each one looks smashing. When the film flattened out, I was checking out the clothes. Props to Manisha Milwani who styled Tabo. Chandni Wahabi, who styled Karina, and Megan Concesio, who styled Kriti. Also to Abhilasha Devnani Baweja, who designed the elegant Kohinoor airline uniforms. But it's not just the glam. The three leads also have an inbuilt camaraderie. Karina and Tabu get the best lines. Karina is Jasmine, a hustler who had dreams of being a CEO, but now she spends her days asking passengers, veg ya non veg. Tabu is Geeta, a former Miss Karnal who at one point laments, Beauty Queen se bai kab bani pata hi nahi chala. Both actors bring to their roles charm and delicious irreverence. Even when Jazz and Geeta are down and out, you don't pity them. They never go into bechari mode. Kriti, as Divya Rana from Haryana, treads the most straight laced path, but she's a solid third leg. The actors don't hold back, but they're grounded by the inconsistent writing. The story, screenplay and dialogue are by Nidhi Mehra and Mehul Suri. Nidhi and Mehul start with a crackling idea that is inspired by headlines. An airline going bankrupt, the owner defaulting on payments, employees going unpaid for months. We've seen all of this play out in the last few years. To convert this calamity into a crime comedy which ends with a heist is ingenious. But it feels like the stakeholders were so enamoured of the idea that they didn't bother to flesh it out into a narrative with enough rigour or with any detailing. The characters are one note, their backstories are flimsy. I wish the script had utilised Diljeet and Kapil better. These performers are too precious to be decoration. There are moments in crew that made me laugh out loud. Tabu's dialogue to Karina, Baskar Cleopatra, foundation head, time machine nahi. I want that on a t-shirt. Baskar Cleopatra, foundation head. Time machine. But the laughs don't come fast enough and the heist comes in too late. It's just too rushed and too sloppily written. The screenplay keeps swerving like a drunk between flashback and present day and the product placements for everything from Go I Bebo to Forest Essentials will make you grow. But a shout out to Aisha, the corrupt airline owner's fabulously entitled daughter played by Garima Yajnik. She's just fabulously unhinged. Crew's music alleviates the unimaginative writing. This includes remixes of two iconic Ila Arun songs, Choli Ke Piche Kya Hai and Ghagra. There's also the lovely Nena sung by Diljeet and featuring Badshah. The BGM by John Stuart Eduri strenuously uses these songs to try and add buoyancy, but Crew remains a hit and miss. Early in the film, a customs officer played by a delightful Trupti Khamkar asks Jazz, Shakal se to achhe ghar ki lag rahi hai, kab bigri? I want to see more bigri women on screen. Let's just support them with sharper writing. 
you can see crew at a theater near you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching my review. Now I'm going to talk about FC Gold. FC Gold is Film Companion's recognition of excellence in storytelling. March 2024 has been a busy and exciting month. Our team of critics have had a great time picking this month's list of storytelling and artists that deserve to have the limelight in the form of FC Gold. Here's who won FC Gold in March. Malayalam film Manumal Boys, directed by Chidambaram. Chaiju Khalid for cinematography for Manumal Boys. Kannada film Photo, directed by Utsav Gonwar. Vishwanath Reddy Chalumala for cinematography for the film Gami. And Pratik Gandhi for his delightful performance in Madgao Express. It's been a great month for Indian cinema. I hope you can watch these titles wherever you are. Keep watching Film Companion for more such curated content.